Hi, Jordan and Phoebe. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Congrats on the win. Um, but yeah, just overall thoughts on getting back into the win column and snapping that uh, losing streak. Um, yeah, it's really exciting to be back in the win column. I think this was um, obviously very necessary for us if we want to stay in contention um, to make a run this off this postseason. So this was huge. Uh, Jordan, you had to come in match kind of early, hopping in. Uh, what are the challenges of that, uh, doing that when you're maybe expecting to come in as a sub at a later stage in the match? Um, yeah, I mean, when you're on the bench, you kind of have to be ready for anything, whatever your role's going to take on, whether it's no minutes, whether it's from the first minute, you never know. So I think it's the mindset of always being ready, and I think that the team is always like that, and I think everybody on the bench would have been ready um, for that moment. Jordan, kind of building on that, when you have such a long time, uh, when you guys are playing uh, up a player for 87 minutes and you have the quality that y'all have in front of goal, do you expect or wanted to, obviously you wanted to, but did you expect to have more goals or find more things going to the back of the net? Um, I think obviously we, all, we want more from ourselves. I think that's something we always expect. I think coming off of such a difficult run where we've been behind, I think putting one was kind of just breaking the ice for us. Um, and I think that progressing against even 11 men, I think that you're going to see a different version of us. I think it's just getting that monkey off of our shoulder, getting that first one in, kind of getting a breath. I think we've had a lot of pressure. We've put a lot of pressure on ourselves to do well. Um, so in order to just get one, I think we just needed a win. And I think one is, is good enough for a win, and that's what we needed. And we can keep creating a better version of ourselves moving forward. Hi, Phoebe, a question for you. Um, got the start today and um, caused, you know, created a lot of chances with balls over the top, including the one that Bethany had. And I'm wondering if that was um, something that you just saw in the game or something that you were kind of coached and told to look for? Um, I think that we're always coached to look for the space that they're giving away, and they were playing a really high line today. Um, so it definitely was conducive to balls over the top. And then I think once you start to do that, you have to readjust. So you have to start playing shorter, playing wide, using your other um, tools out there. So it's just kind of what the game gave us. Just kind of want to take an opportunity since y'all are here. Uh, can you give me a um, like your best uh, Megan Rapino story or, or funniest moment with her? I think Go ahead. Me a minute. <laughs> um, there's so many. Yeah, this is, there's an arsenal. <sighs> She's a riot. Everything she says is funny. You just sit at a table with her for 10 minutes and you're cracking up laughing the whole time. Manic Megan. Manic Megan. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's just a little team thing, man. Yeah, they're Megan. all inside you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a very long, drawn out story to like, really get to the real value piece. But she's just an amazing teammate, I think, yeah. on the field, off the field. She's always bringing the intensity on field and the laughter off field. So I yeah. think we're definitely going to miss her. And I think that the game is going to miss her, so, yeah. Uh, defensively, today was a clean sheet um, with kind of the unique challenges of some rotation, internationals coming back, um, the weather deluge at times. Can you talk about the uh, collective team effort on defense that led to holding that given the pressure Orlando was trying to get with the counter? Yeah, I think we had to do some adjustment after um, they went down a player. It's obviously not um, the game plan that we had planned for, so we had to see where they shift and shift accordingly. Um, I think communication was huge for us today. I think we were really communicative in every third of the field, um, and I think that really helped us take care of their transition because we were very organized um, when we had possession in their attacking third or in our attacking third rather. Yeah. Um, we, Claudia Dickey got her second start in the regular season. You've obviously had a chance to play with her in um, the Challenge Cup, but how does that change you, what you are doing defensively, um, maybe not having as much time with her as you have had with Fallon? Um, I mean, personally, I probably had more time with Claudia than I've had with Fallon just from practices and everything. Um, and she and I have a really good relationship both on and off the field. I think George would echo that. Um, and Claudia is a great player. She um, is super comfortable with her feet. She wants the ball, um, and she's a freak athlete. She will pull some crazy saves out of her ass. So I'm, I'm just we're lucky to have so many options there. All right, that was it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys.